Hey everybody, so we are going to make some blackberry syrup tonight, today, whatever. These are the berries I picked today. There's more in the refrigerator and freezer. I'll probably freeze those. And what I have in the refrigerator I'll probably turn into jelly, jam, whatever. So this is about 8 to 10 cups of berries and we're going to turn them into juice so right now I just have them on a low heat you can have them on a medium low heat and when they start getting warm and bubbling I'm gonna use my uh, you can use your potato masher I'm gonna use my hamburger squisher and get them going so that's what we're starting out with is a pot full of berries going to turn them into juice and then we will put them through a sieve after we get them all juiced up and then we'll put the juice back in the pot and we'll be adding some lemon juice some pectin and some sugar so when we get to the juice part where we're starting to smash them I'll be back and I have my pot over here with some jars in it already to get hot Okay, I've already started smashing them down. I'm using this thing. And I should have on an apron. I'm going to put on an apron because I don't want to turn my clothes purple. So just continue doing that. put on an apron continue smashing and then once they start coming up to a bit of a bubble smash them some more make sure you're getting all that juice out and let them cook for about 15 minutes so I will check back with you as we move along so this is what we're looking like now. See, we're making juice. Let's keep smashing that up. You want to cook this for about 15 or 20 minutes. And you can do this with any berry. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. get these really all mushed up and let it cook for 15 or 20 minutes then we're going to put it through our mesh strainer and I'm going for about three cups of juice here you'll need two teaspoons of pectin uh, sugar I think it's two and a half cups of sugar or you can use honey and I'll give you that measurement and some bottled lemon juice if you're wanting to can it if you're just wanting to bottle it and put it in the refrigerator you don't have to use the lemon juice but if you're wanting to can it which I am because I'm not using it right away you'll need the lemon juice I'm just gonna keep going here. Isn't it weird how they change color? You, when you put them in the freezer, they turn that color too. It's just weird. So I'm gonna keep going. And then once it's all smashed up, I'm gonna let it simmer for 15 20 minutes. So we'll be back when we're straining. Okay, so now we are going to put it through this strainer into this measuring cup. And 
you want to mash it through to make sure you get all that juice out of those little berry balls. And this is the same thing I do when I make my jelly. You can use a jelly bag, but you'll still have to squeeze that jelly bag really well. And after you do this part, you'll rinse your pot and put the juice back in and you'll need two and a half cups of sugar, two teaspoons of pectin, and a tablespoon of bottled lemon juice. You can replace the uh, two and a half cups of sugar with one cup of honey. So this is what we're doing. There's our juice. So I don't think you want to watch me do this whole pot. So I'm going to finish doing that and then we'll be back when we add it back to the pot. Okay, so I got four and a half cups of juice and I rinsed my pot. So I'm going to be adding three and three quarter cups of sugar to compensate for the extra cup and a half. So there's a cup and a quarter. Two. Three. So three and three quarters cup of sugar. And I'll be using one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice and three teaspoons of pectin. to bring this up to a boil and when it comes to a boil we're going to boil it for three minutes. Go. My dogs are all hopped up, the littles. Ricky and Lucy, aka Mitzi and Tiggs. And you can double, triple, whatever you want this recipe. a cup and a half more of juice so I just compensated cut the measurements in half for the three cups so we're going to bring this to a boil you probably don't want to sit there and wait for it to boil. They say a watch pot never boils anyway, so I'll be back when this comes up to a boil. Okay, we're boiling. I'm going to set the time. Now we're not making jelly, so this didn't say to bring to a boil you cannot stir down. And the pectin is just to give it that viscosity for syrup. Got a towel over the canner lid trying to 
reduce steam over there and I've got the steam from this pot so hopefully you're not getting all steamed out you want to keep stirring so the bottom doesn't burn And after I do this, I'm going to have to bleach down my kitchen to get all the purple off. Got purple everywhere. didn't press the timer so I'm figuring we've got a couple of minutes maybe one and a half I said it but I didn't push it again to make it start And if you get any foam on it, just skim that off. It doesn't say to use butter. This, like I said, we're not making jelly or jam. But so far, so good on the foam. Save my canning for the night because during the day this is way hot. have any crystallization going so that's good okay now we're going to add our pectin and we will boil it again for another one minute three teaspoons of pectin Start your timer for one minute. And make sure you start it. <laughs> and that just thickens it up a little bit so it's syrup. And you can do this in half pints, pints, quarts. Pints are 10 minutes and quarts are 15 minutes in a water bath canner. jars
turn off my heat. We'll see how many jars we get out of this. Fill it up to one quarter inch of head space. And I could have got a bigger. So pretty. I don't have any more jars that size, so I'm going to get. Just put that one in the refrigerator. I have one that full. So now, and I will not debubble these because it was liquid. Should be no bubbles in a liquid. I find with jams and jellies and things like that, when you go to debubble, you add more air than you actually remove. So, if you want to debubble this, feel free. But there should be no bubbles, seeing as it is a liquid. Make sure you get all that purple stuff off.
Where did I put my lid? These will process for 10 minutes. Set your timer for 10 minutes. If that needs to come back to a boil, make sure it comes back to a boil before you set your timer. Sticky stuff everywhere. So I am going to let that do its thing. I have this for the refrigerator. We can have a little taste. And I will start getting my mess cleaned up and I will see you when these are coming out. Okay, our syrup is ready. So there we have it. There is our blackberry syrup for pancakes, waffles, ice cream, whatever you want to put it on. So use those berries. You can make this with any berry you have or you're growing or you find or you buy or whatever. So if you have too many berries and you've made jelly jam and everything else you can think of, try some syrup so anyways if you have any questions post them down below if you're new to the channel's channel please like comment and subscribe you stay safe you stay healthy and i will see you all in the next video